I was just waiting for my procedural content generator to finish. I am trying to generate some Mario levels using a search-based approach, which runs an evolutionary algorithm. But the fitness evaluation of each of those levels takes a while because it's based on an AI simulation. Wait, I'll just show you. The evolutionary algorithm starts by randomly generating some levels, the initial population. From this set of levels, it selects parent randomly, which are then recombined and mutated to create offspring. The levels with the best fitness values are then selected to survive to the next iteration. If done right, increasingly better levels are created throughout many iterations. This sounds great, right? However, if fitness evaluations are really expensive, well, I just can't wait that long. But I think I found a solution. Surrogate assisted evolutionary algorithms are, well, evolutionary algorithms, but they seek to reduce the number of fitness function evaluations by using information from machine learning models. They differ mainly in the way these two components interact. As an example, Let's look at an algorithm called SAPIO. SAPIO is short for Surrogate Assisted Partial Order Based Evolutionary Optimization. I know, that's a lot, so let's go through these components one at a time. SAPIO is still an evolutionary algorithm and follows the same scheme. However, it is based on the following realization. Usually, all solutions in an evolutionary algorithm are evaluated as soon as they are created. However, the only part where the fitness value is really needed is the survival selection. What if you could make the same selection but based on predictions and not on actual fitness evaluations? Hmm, let's visualize this. So, imagine these balloons represent the solution to an optimization problem and the altitude of the cabin is the fitness value. The higher the balloon, the better. Now, if we have a population size of 3, we would get rid of the two lowest balloons during survival selection. However, in Sapio, we do not actually know the exact location of the cabins. What we do know, however, are confidence intervals for each individual as predicted by a surrogate model. The model is trained on all previously evaluated solutions. The question now is, how do you go about comparing the solutions based only on uncertain fitness information? Sapio uses partial orders of the confidence intervals to do so. If intervals overlap, they are not comparable. Based on pairwise comparisons, we can now assign a rank to each of the solutions. Solutions on the first couple of ranks can just safely go through to the next generation. Only individuals on the critical rank need to be evaluated in order to distinguish them properly. Thus, Sapio can arrive at the correct selection but with less function evaluations. Unfortunately, this method is not entirely fail-safe. If some predictions are way off, Sapio could end up making incorrect selections. Thankfully, Evolutionary algorithms are relatively robust against this. Still, errors should be avoided. For this reason, Sapio only uses surrogate models that pass a cross-validation check. So, in case of potential errors, Sapio just falls back to the underlying evolutionary algorithm. That is especially relevant in case of my PCG system, because Really, there was no way of telling whether my modeling assumptions would hold. Speaking of search-based PCG, fitness functions are often noisy if they are based on playthroughs. Noise can also be modeled with confidence intervals and can thus be handled with the same partial order-based selection. Also works for non-symmetric uncertainties. Oh, oh, wait, my levels are done. Sorry, got to go. But if you're interested in giving Sapio well, uh, I guess just check out my thesis. All the code is available on GitHub and is a Docker image of CodeOcean. See ya!